um, I set like some, looking back, I set some expectations, I think about, I feel like everyone always talks about like how many people you're going to meet um, and how like in the dorms and stuff, like leaving your door open and like how it's really easy to like meet and talk to people, which I think ended up being true. Like you spend, I feel like I spent all day like talking to new people all the time, like in classes and like just in public and stuff like that. Um, but I think what was unexpected for me too was like how much time I really spent by myself. Like I think when like, you know, you have your roommate and then I think I had set this expectation of it being really, really easy to like, or effortless, I guess, to like make friends. Um, and I think that that expectation like was not met. Like, I think I was surprised by how I actually had to put in like the effort to not spend alone time, I guess, if that makes sense. Like you have to seek out like those opportunities to like interact with other people. Um, which I guess that's like a double-edged thing too, because I'm more of an introvert and I definitely need like the time to recharge. So I think I learned about myself that I did need like some of that alone time. So I was grateful for like having the chance to like have the option to seek out those friendships, but also have the option to like spend the time that I needed by myself, if that makes sense. Oh, Sarah, you might be muted. I think for me, I expected that I would breeze through classes, especially like math and chem. And then I got there and I was like D plus, C, C minus. It was hard. It hit me hard. And I was devastated. I was like, I thought I was smarter than this. Um, but the reality is that it's pretty much like that for everybody. Like you think you're going to fly through classes and then you go there and, and it turns out to be harder than you expect. And it just is what it is. And you have to kind of change and adapt and learn new ways to study and to grow and figure out what works best for you. And that takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sarah, I definitely remember having that same experience. That was what I was going to say too, is that you know, I graduated top of my class in high school and I was like, college is just going to be easy, easy, breezy. Like, I'm obviously still going to try, but it shouldn't be too hard. And I remember failing the first exam I ever had. And I was like shocked. But I was like, I spent all weekend studying for this and I've never studied this much. Like what happened? And you learn that like, or at least I learned that I didn't properly know how to study or really like test my knowledge on the materials. I was just used to like being like, okay, I'm just going to like remember this and then have have it for the short, short term um, and then be able to like recall that later and not just like really the theory behind things um, get that well cemented. So I think that was like the biggest surprise. But to add something like a little bit different since Sarah, you already said that, I would say it was also surprising to have so much freedom to really direct your own path. And it shouldn't have been because obviously college is where everyone goes to kind of like, you know, branch out and find their like niche and like you know what they want to study all those things um, but I feel like I remember being so surprised that my advisor wasn't you know messaging me to like set up an appointment every semester things like that like you really are like the one that's directing your own success here and like if you put in you know like you got to be the one putting in the time to study and, and learn how to study to like pass those classes and yeah I just think that freedom is kind of surprising sometimes at first. <laughs> 